My name is Stacy Escalante. I've lived in Nevada 18 years. I am a volunteer for the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network. I'm also on the board of the Nevada Cancer Coalition. The reason this is so important to me is because I am a stage 3 melanoma survivor. In 2005, I was at the top of my career. I had two children, a two-year-old and a six-month-old, and there was a mole on my lower back. It was itchy and red, and they didn't think it was anything, but my dermatologist decided to cut it out, and it turns out, 10 days later, I got a call. They said I had cancer, and it was very serious. There was a chance that it had spread to my organs, and I will tell you that it, you could have knocked me over with a feather. I had to go in and get that removed. It was the size of an ice cream scoop out of my back, and um, after they had biopsied that, they found out that the cancer had spread to my lymph nodes in my groin, to my sentinel node. So then I had to have another major surgery. And uh, then I had to lay on my back for seven weeks. I couldn't walk. And then I had to do two years of treatment. I didn't do chemotherapy, but I did an experimental drug because melanoma the chances of it spreading or recurring are very high. I was a sun worshiper when I was a teenager and in college. And I also, I used baby oil. I would go to the beach and I didn't use sunscreen. And then when I moved to Nevada in 1997, I started using tanning beds. And my doctors tell me that there is a 90% chance that my melanoma was caused because I used indoor tanning beds. I think the most important thing when it comes to skin cancer prevention and education is that it is one of the most treatable cancers if caught early. So in addition to preventive measures using sunscreen, sunglasses, and shade, you have to get your skin checked. So make sure that you go see your doctor and make sure you look at your skin, have your partner or spouse or a friend check your skin for any weird marks or lesions or anything because that's super important. I had stage three melanoma because I waited to go to the doctor. If I would have gone in the beginning, they probably would have just cut it out and then monitored me. Instead, I had two major surgeries, two years of follow-up treatment and experimental drugs, and that affected my life, not only emotionally and physically, but financially. I also, as a young mother, I couldn't take care of my children, and so what I want people to do is to learn from what I went through and the mistakes that I made so that you don't have to suffer the consequences. We just passed a law in Nevada, SB 267, that prohibits people under the age of 18 from going into tanning beds. And that is really important because the American Cancer Society says that your chances of get getting melanoma go up when you do indoor tanning and when you expose yourself to UV rays. So one of my messages is please do not indoor tan. It's very dangerous. And also, when you're outside, you need to be careful when it comes to the sun. So try to avoid being in the direct sun from 10 to 4. Wear sunglasses with UV protection. And then obviously wear sunscreen. But the most important part of that is a 30 SPF or higher. And here's the catch. You have to reapply it at least every two hours. And then use protective clothing, and also um, look for areas that have shade. So if you're going to take your kids to the park, look for the areas that have uh, shade over them. So one of the misconceptions is that if you have darker skin, that you are immune from skin cancer. And the fact is, is that anyone can get skin cancer. No one is immune. I used to think that my dad, because he's Mexican and I have olive skin, that I was protected, that I wasn't going to get skin cancer. But the reality is, is even though I am Hispanic, my mom is redheaded, freckled, however, that you can still get it. And uh, the cases are rising among um, all 
people, whether you know you can be African American and still get skin cancer. So this applies to everybody that you need to really be vigilant when it comes to the sun, when it comes to indoor tanning, and when it comes to sunscreen.